Hello everyone, this is the Tesco from my blog zone. Today I want to talk a bit about one of my favorite WordPress plugins, which is Captain Form. Uh, Captain Form allows you to create uh, several types of forms and surveys directly on your WordPress dashboard. Um, one of the reasons that I like this plugin is because uh, it's very easy to use. It's really user friendly. Uh, security capabilities are, are tremendous and you can easily customize the, uh, the type of forms that you're, uh, you're creating and you can see it directly uh, from a preview pane. Um, anyway, uh, if you want to learn more about Captain Form, you can go to the link below where I can where I point you towards a review that I made uh, October last year. I talk a bit uh, about this free WordPress plugin. Uh, so you can go there uh, to read a little bit more about this plugin. <clears throat> you can also <clears throat> obviously go and visit directly Captain Form's uh, homepage. There you have a lot of other information about uh, the features of, of Captain Form also gives you the pricing structure. Uh, it also has a blog if you want. And <clears throat> one of the really interesting bit is that you have a demo button right here on Captain Form's homepage, where if you click on it, <clears throat> it should give you directly uh, a working version of Captain Form. So if you go here. Uh, click on my forms, for example. You'll see uh, immediately uh, some forms that have already been created here. As an example, how do you, if you click on them, you will see how they work. <clears throat> As you can see, it's right here. So it's really interesting because uh, you can <clears throat> test the. Uh, the plugin before you even try to install it and I'm talking even the free one uh, so that's how uh, that's how I think that uh, such plugins could uh, could uh, work uh, this way you can test it and uh, if you like it then all you have to do is just you know install it and and um, see how it goes anyway um, let's go back a bit here so uh, as I said, you can go directly from their, uh, to their uh, homepage and download the plugin from here. So if you click on this free download, you enter your email, <clears throat> and that will take you to the link where you can download the plugin. Uh, you can also go directly to the WordPress repository, and from there, you just go ahead and install it. If for some reason you don't know how to install that, you also have a, uh, a quick tutorial from Captain Form on YouTube as to how to install this WordPress plugin. So uh, I won't be showing you exactly how this works right now. Um, I want to try and see if I can make this video short. I will uh, put the links directly on the description form. So you will have the uh, how to install the plugin. I will also show you a quick tour uh, there on that description. And obviously, uh, in my case right now, which is what I want to show you, is I want to show you how this uh, plugin works. So okay, so once you've installed it and go to and go to your dashboard, you have several uh, options here, which is you know your my forms, a new form, your account, your change plan, and support. Um, right now, what I want to do is I'm going to just go real quick and, and show you how to create a new form, okay? So you click on this new form here and it will give you uh, some options as to what you want to create. So if you wanna create a contact lead form, an event registration, a poll form, a quiz form, or a survey form, you just go ahead and click on the use template and you will be uh, directed directly to the, uh, to the editing section. <clears throat> also, uh, if you notice here on this part, it says other forms. If you click on this one, you will see a drop-down menu of uh, virtually all the uh, possible 
uh, combinations uh, or, or templates that you can use to, um, to create your type of form. So you have for the small business, you have human resources type, event organizers, uh, etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a form here so you can see how this works. So just, just, just go ahead and use the template for the contact form. As you can see, it already shows you the layout right here. You have some uh, options here, like adding a text box, text area, number, drop down, type of menu, uh, radio buttons, etc. So, for example, if we get this drop down and just drag it all the way here, um, that will give you <coughs> directly a drop down section here. So. You just go ahead and up and down if you want uh, to change that. And let's say this will be the subject. Okay. You can see it immediately changes here. Let's put the choices. Uh, and check one. And check two. Basically, what this also could serve us is get the rack options for the for the person who's already going to be using the form so let's just go ahead and do that that should be more than enough <clears throat> so if you click here uh, okay so if we uh, put things here you will see that you already have the option there okay so clicking here you can see the uh, the preview version of this form See, you have to, the option, uh, the drop-down option that we made. So go, let's go, go out there. Uh, <clears throat> let's go back to the settings area, which is the first part was the editing the form. So we did that already. Uh, let's go and change the theme if we want. It's basically just uh, the type of fonts. Uh, if you want to put your logo in there, uh, change the background, um, highlights put some buttons in there. Now basically you have really, really a lot of options. And when you go to the theme section, uh, you will have a form preview right here. So this is like a real time um, preview, preview pane where you can see exactly what you're doing. Um, you have an, uh, a lot of other options here. So you have third party apps, you have a payment integration. If you have the uh, the proper plan you can use that feature um, you can increase the security of your forms you can uh, put anti-spam you can see uh, you can use the capture or not we can just go ahead and turn this off for the meantime and once you've done you save your changes and you go ahead and publish okay so let's go back here uh, this is uh, you know the short code in case you want to embed it directly in your wordpress just go ahead and copy that there's these are the various options where you can put it directly in the form but what i want to show you is <clears throat> let's go back to my forms real quick so this was the contact and lead form number two okay it's taking a while, sorry about that. And it's right here, okay? So, let's go to the add new post, it's right here. Uh, you, can, you can see that there's an icon here about insert form. Um, Captain form yeah, <clears throat> puts this uh, I can hear automatically once you update or activate, uh, I mean, the plugin. So let's, let's go ahead and click on that. It's going to be searching for the type of forms that you have. We want to use the contact and lead form. And this is the cool part if you want to, to display it as a light box. But for now, let's just go ahead and insert this normal form. And <clears throat> Let's go ahead and click on publish.
Okay, so let's view that. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. You have the contact and lead form right here. Okay, so this is the normal version. Okay, now let's remove this one here. Insert the form again. This time we're going to use it as a light box. Um, let's just go ahead and put it like this text with a contact S. Okay, so let's insert that. Update. Internet is acting a bit slow today. Sorry about that. I'm going to pause this and come back. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and go and view the, the changes that we've made. As you can see, uh, the form has disappeared. We uh, remember that we checked the light box, uh, light box option. So now it's just a contact as text here. You could have uh, written whatever you wanted to, but let's click on that and see what happens. As you can see, it pops out uh, as a light box, which is absolutely great. Uh, it's got a nice uh, look into it. Uh, the free plugin gives you uh, up to three uh, customizable forms. Uh, the only catch is that you will have uh, no option to remove this link, uh, which is the love link for, for Captain Form, but I guess <clears throat> it's just a small price to pay for having a real good uh, free plugin uh, like this. All right, so that's basically it. Uh, obviously, as I said, there's a lot of other uh, <clears throat> features to look at on Captain Form, but that gives you, uh, I hope, a very general idea of what this plugin can do. Uh, you just go ahead and click on this knowledge base here if you want, and that will do, do send you directly to a lot of other information on Captain Form's uh, website where you can uh, download the plugin, you can uh, learn more about it and as I said don't forget about this demo button here which you can use uh, just to test out the plugin okay um, I hope you liked uh, this small demonstration uh, thanks for watching bye bye